As game wardens, we see all kinds of wildlife, but getting up close to this next one was a rare treat. In Skowhegan, Maine, Warden Jonathan Parker heads to the scene of an unusual wildlife rescue. Just got a call from uh, Warden Chad Robinson. Uh, he's got a orphan moose calf, and mother was found dead, and uh, they don't know what she died from, you know, possibly even uh, giving birth. Sounds like they're going to be transporting it down to the Gray Wildlife Park. But I'll find out more when I meet up with Chad, see if he needs a hand uh, with this moose. Maine is home to the highest moose population in the lower 48. When a newborn is left on its own, wardens often work with local wildlife biologists to coordinate the rescue. It's pretty good on the ride out, real calm, quiet. It's just starting to get a little anxious. Someone had uh, found a, a, a dead female moose, and they, upon looking at it further, they found this this newborn. Get her? Yep. Moose are solitary and don't travel in herds. The strongest bonds they form are between a mother and her calf. Without that connection, orphans are extremely vulnerable. I stretch them legs. It's been a long ride, hasn't it? Huh? You know, not many people get to see a moose calf up close like this. That's the benefits of being a main game warden. It's amazing they can go from this to. 800 plus pounds. No, huh? You can hear, you know, she's calling for her mom and it's sad. Usually the wardens handle newborns only when the mother is deceased. Otherwise, wild animals should be left alone. That gives them the best chance of survival. The best part is, you know, she's going to get a second chance. <laughs> 